Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be taking up the various experiments to explain the process of different uh, like definitions which we have done in the earlier videos, like osmosis uh, for the process of absorption of roots, conduction of root by xylem and phloem. I'll be taking up four experiments here. Now the first experiment is to prove the process of osmosis. Now, we all know what is osmosis, the movement of water molecules from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Okay, I'll be explaining the uh, experiment. Now, what we are going to take? We are going to take a beaker which is filled with water and in this beaker, we are going to place a thistle funnel. This uh, apparatus is known as thistle funnel. In this thistle funnel, we are going to place sugar solution. Sugar solution. Till the point where sugar solution is there, we are going to mark it as A. Okay? This beaker, it is filled with water. And here, very important, at the base of the thistle funnel, we are placing, a, we are tying a semi-permeable membrane. Example, it would, it could be a muslin cloth, it could be a goat's bladder or uh, something. There are various examples. Now, what are we going to observe now? We are going to we'll, um, uh, set up this apparatus, we will keep it aside for like one hour or two. After one hour or two, we will observe that this level of sugar solution in the thistle funnel will rise to a level which we will mark as B. There will be a rise in the sugar level from here to here. How come? How, we have, how will you we explain this? This rise will take place due to the process of osmosis. As we have discussed earlier in the earlier videos that the sugar solution, it has, it has less water but it has more of solute. And water, here water is more. Due to osmosis, the water is moving from its higher concentration to its lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane inside the sugar solution and hence the level of the sugar solution in the capillary in the thistle funnel will rise. This experimental setup it explains the process of osmosis. Okay? The setup which is set as a control for this experiment. Control, what is the control experiment? Control is in which we remove the main part and hence we see whether the experiment takes place or not. Now what we are going to do in the control, rather placing the semi-permeable membrane, we are going to place a, an impermeable. Im means does not allow any movement. We are going to place, replace a semi-permeable membrane with, with an impermeable membrane. No, it does not allow any movement of water or any substances. Now what will happen here? There will be no movement, there will be no rise in the water level. Okay, uh, we, uh, so this will explain that the uh, process of osmosis it takes place through the semi-permeable membrane and it occurs from high concentration of water to low concentration of water. This, would, uh, this was about the experiment on osmosis. Now I am going to take up the next experiment that is, that is that explains the absorption of water by the roots. A very important definition, uh, very important uh, uh, this uh, experiment. For, uh, that explains the absorption of water by roots. Now for this experiment what we are going to take, we are going to take two test tubes and in both the test tubes we are going to place twigs or plants. Now, 
these plants or uh, twigs they must have roots in them because in this experiment we are going to explain that the plants they uh, absorb the water by the roots okay now what we will do in the first test tube we will place oil over the surface of the water and in the second test tube uh, uh, we uh, suppose in second test tube we are not taking the roots actually because here we are going to explain about the roots we will we'll take a twig without the roots uh, or you can say and we will place water here okay okay and now what we will observe this is test tube a and this is test tube b okay uh, i'll modify the experiment maybe uh, we will not take the plant here it's just a test tube without the plant with the roots now we are going to ex explain here that absorption of water by the roots the roots are present here but roots are not present in the test tube b what will happen after some time we'll uh, make the setup keep it uh, aside for a while and then we will observe the result that the level of the water will come down in test tube A but there will be no change in test tube B. Now what is happening here, the plant with the roots is roots are absorbing water and is giving water to the leaves. Okay, And hence the water uh, level is moving down but here we don't have any plant so there is no change in the water level. Now the, a very important question which is asked here is that why a film of oil is placed over the water surface on the test tube this is to make the experiment more accurate so that there is no loss of water by evaporation suppose we don't place oil here and we have placed the plant here okay now plant ki roots may have absorbed water but the water level will go much down why because some of the water has been evaporated by the sun's heat also to stop this evaporation by sun, loss that is absorption by roots. The second loss which will be taking place by the sun has been controlled by putting a film of oil over it. So the answer would be that a film of oil is placed over water to prevent the loss of water in the form of evaporation from sunlight. Okay. Now this was the experiment to explain that the roots they absorb water. Next experiment is that xylem conducts water okay we all know what is xylem xylem is a tissue in the plants which conduct water okay there are two experiments to uh, prove this uh, that xylem that conducts water one simple experiment you can perform it at your home also bring a stick of rose from the florist take a glass of water put ink in it and place that stick in the water glass and uh, keep it for like one or two days after one or two days you will observe that the um, petals of the rose they will have like bluish tint in it of the ink okay for a more uh, uh, appropriate result you can take a white rose okay or a yellow rose that will give a significant result okay and when you take out that twig and cut that twig what you will observe that where wherever you will cut in the center here this part would be blue in color due to the ink Okay, this shows that the xylem which is present in the center of the stem that has absorbed the water because water it is containing blue dye that blue dye is moving to the xylem which states that the xylem conducts water. The second experiment is in this we are going to take two potted plants okay, and I will explain it by one that is sufficient. We are taking a plant and what we will do potted plant why I am saying because it has roots also it is a proper growing plant and from that plant we are going to remove the xylem from the center xylem is present in the center and we are going to remove this xylem here this place is from here xylem is removed now what will happen the roots will absorb water the water will move till here but will stop here, cannot move to the leaves. After few days you will find that these leaves they will shrivel, they will droop down and finally the plant will die. Because the leaves are not getting water, the leaves are not getting water, they are not performing photosynthesis, they are not performing photosynthesis and plant is not getting food hence the plant dies. 
okay this experiment it proves that xylem it conducts the water inside the plants next experiment is that phloem conducts food phloem conducts food now for this what we are going to do same we are going to take a potted plant same a plant growing in a pot and now here what we are going to do we are going to remove the phloem from outside okay now here the xylem is intact but from this part phloem is removed leaves are here same okay now what will happen here plant will absorb water water will go up to the leaves leaves will perform photosynthesis will prepare food the food will come down through the phloem but will stop here because phloem is kya gaya hai then it cannot move down okay now what will happen here after a while you will observe after some time what will be observed that this part from where the phloem has been removed will like swell up this will swell up why because the food is moving down and is accumulating at these places but is unable to move down and finally the plant will die why because the roots they are not getting food food comes still here and stops the la the lower part of the plant is not getting any food and hence the plant will die due to the death of the roots now this was about the explanation of the various experiments i have explained four experiments here very important experiments related to cbic icsc whatever you say okay that osmosis how it is uh, done xylem conducts water phloem conducts food and roots they absorb water okay if you like my videos if you want to learn more if you want to uh, want some more topics to be explained please do write in comments i'll be taking up the topics whatever you ask to and i'll be explaining uh, almost all the topics which are related to cbsc icsc syllabus from 9th till class 12 please do subscribe the channel and share with your friends also